everybody, it's Kristen, and it's time for another Total Rehaul. It has been just a little bit since I've done these, and I know you guys really enjoy them, so I decided to go back, and as usual, you know what, let me just explain what this is, in case you're new to Total Rehaul. So, this is a, an idea that lots of people have called different things, um, and what... What I call mine is Total Rehaul, and it's when I go back, take a look at a haul that I did a few months back, and pull the products and come back and talk to you about them. They may be products I haven't touched yet. They may be products that I liked but didn't make it into a favorite, some things I may have returned. Just sort of an update. This was a really big haul, so I'm going to go ahead and get going. Um, I have my list printed here of what I had in that haul, and here we go. So the first thing in here was the my Lucky Bag that I got from Beautylish. Beautylish does the Lucky Bags. It's, they go for sale December 26th, I think it is, the day after Christmas. And um, you pay $75 plus shipping and handling, and then you kind of get what you get. It's a big surprise. Mine was really, really good. I, I love, I, even though the, some of these products I haven't touched, the ones that I have used or know have used in the past I really like. So the first thing was the Bioderma. Sebum, I think it is. I've not used this one with the green cap, so I can't report back on this one. I love the Bioderma with the pink cap, but this one I'm saving for a travel situation, as you can tell. Probably I will use it for camping this summer. Um, and the other one is a product that I have saved because I've been working through some brow products, and I know that I love this brow product. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power, so I've used this in the past. I think I've gone through two of them. I absolutely love it. It stays in place. Um, I will say that it has the, the kind of wider tip on it and uh, you know over the past year I've really kind of fallen in love with like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I've worked through a NYX one that you'll hear me talk about here coming up and I'm using a L'Oreal one of the ones just with the teeny tiny ones. So I have really been liking those but um, I know that I like that one as well. <laughs> So, all right, here's something that I used, really liked, but it never made it into a favorites. I don't know why, but this is the RMS Blush in um, Beloved. And it's going to be hard for you to see because I, what I use, I use my stipple brush in there. But this is such a pretty blush. It Obviously, it looks scary as I'll get up, but on the cheeks, and I, I didn't use it today because of the eye look that I did. But there is just a little bit of it. But then when you blend this out, it is just the prettiest there. Like flush to your cheeks. It's gorgeous. And it stays put. I really want to try a few more products from RMS. This is the only thing I have from them. But it was a great introduction to the brand, at least for me. Because I loved, loved, loved it. The next one is one that I haven't used. The whole world has talked about this. Which is probably why I haven't tried it yet. I've told you before, sometimes I just shut down. But the Becca Back Backlight Priming Filter. People always say it's backlit, but it definitely says backlight priming filter. So I cannot report on that. My apologies. All right, the next one was the um, Wayne Goss number no. 5 brush. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite. It looks like this. It's one of my favorite brushes for beneath your lower lash line. If you are having problems, you like you want color to show up, but you don't want it to be down to here. But you don't want to use a brush where it's you keep trying to apply color and it won't apply. You feel me? This is brush is perfect. It's very nice. It has a nice teeny tip, but it pick it actually picks up product, lays it down, and blends it all at the same time. I highly recommend that brush. Right, the next one is a palette that I like, but I didn't like ooh and on fall over myself for it. And I don't know. I, I'm definitely in the minority there. So this is the Vizart, Viziart, take your pick, Vizart. Um, and this is the one in natural mattes and I like it. It's a nice palette It's a great palette if you want to grab a couple of single shades Like to travel with and then grab this or just have this sitting if you're trying to use some of your single shades It's a good kind of go-to palette I still find myself going to the Mac one that I have made for myself here more often, but it's a nice palette I, I am not sure if it worth it's worth $80 or not, but again, I'm in the minority on that so the next thing was three of the new Estee Lauder Double Wear Liners. Now, I don't understand why, but they still have these ones and they have these ones. I, I don't I don't really know the difference between the two. At least I think they still have these ones. Last time I looked. But, so these are the ones, I have, a, I have a bunch of these and really like them. It's just ones that you sharpen. These retractable ones had just come out. So I purchased them in three different colors. I purchased in black and teal night, I think it is. Yes, teal night and deep plum. So there are the shades, the... Plum, the Deep Plum Teal Light and Black. And these are great. I love that they're retractable. I've loved the Estee Lauder liners for a long time. 
Um, I just, that teal night is a really interesting shade. I really like that one. Um, there is, I liked this one originally, and then there's one that I, that I will talk about here in a minute. You've heard me talk about quite a few times that kind of took over my plum love or my purple love, but these are nice. I think they are a good price point, um, for, you know, for, for the ease of use and that sort of thing. And the black stays really well in my upper waterline. Not as good as Marc Jacobs, but really well. I gotta tell you, the, the mornings right now with the filming are driving me crazy. There's a little sun behind me. Anyway, so I just, interestingly enough, I have just opened this one up to start using it so I can um, do a mascara madness on it. And this is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Defining Lift and Fan Mascara. So far, I really like this. It doesn't transfer, hasn't flaked on me. I've only been using it for a few days now. It's a plastic brush. It does really lift the lashes and separate them out. So far, I don't feel, I'm looking in the mirror, I don't feel like it adds a ton of volume or even a ton of um, length. It really just accentuates what you've got. You can build it up a little bit, not a ton, but again, I'm very, very early on into this and you'll see this in Mascara Madness at the end of the quarter. Okay, the next one I haven't used as much because I had to get it replaced. So I had purchased on the recommendation of um, a friend of mine, the Pure Color Envy Lipstick Rouge in irresistible so it's one of the you guys know I love this formulation so this was just a really sort of everyday shade this is what I'm wearing on my lips today looks like that that's why I got it I wanted more of an everyday shade in this formula that I love so much but when it came it was very loose in the cap and I just kept forgetting to take it back and exchange or send it back and exchange it so I had purchased it from David at um, Bergdorf Goodman and when I went back in April I took it with me I exchanged it and now I have one that functions properly and love it so that is what I'm wearing today with this look I probably would have done something a little bit brighter but I wanted you guys to see it on the lips because I don't think I fit I have worn it in a video. So my issue, by the way, in case you're running with the lighting, is that even with the blinds back there, like, comes through the side, so I have to, like, angle it and, ugh. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, all right, the next thing I had on here was the MAC Plum Liner. I've talked about this a bunch of times. I, I just really have enjoyed pairing it with different, I, I put all of my lips and pair it with, with different lipsticks for MAC. It looks like that. I, it was out of stock forever, and I finally got my hands on it. And I just like it because it's very cool. The majority of my liners are very warm, and it's just a very nice, cool shade. Really, really enjoy that. The next thing was the Laura Mercier Candlelit Soft Luminous Foundation. I did I do? I don't even think I. I don't even think I dealt with that for more than a couple of days before I returned it. So I didn't do a review on it, but I did talk about it in a fails video. That absolutely went back. I didn't like that in the slightest. It was not good for my skin. I. I. I it was not. It was. <laughs> it was not good. All right, the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Bronze. I returned that I as really well. I had gone in looking for the one in beige, and they didn't have it. I was like, oh, I'll get the one in bronze, and I could use it as eyeshadows, whatever. I'm not, I, I won't do that. I haven't, I have eyeshadows in those shades. So I didn't, I, it was just too dark for my skin. I loved the texture of it, but it was too dark for my skin. So I went ahead and returned that as well. The, the next product is the product I returned. I talked about some of these in fails. The Tartist Contour Palette by Tarte. I just didn't, I didn't feel like there was enough bang for your buck in that. I didn't feel like the shades were pigmented enough. And this was, I think they have a cream one. This was the powder one. Um, and hopefully I've put pictures up here. I just didn't like it. It wasn't, it just wasn't for me. All right. The next thing was a love, 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 love. <laughs> and that I, I was surprised because I did not think I would like this. There was just too much talk about it. I, I was, you know, I had dug my feet in the sand and wasn't going to like it. But this is one of the best palettes in my collection now, the Too Faced Bonbon bon palette. I've done a Four Looks One palette with this and I will list that below for you guys if you want to check that out. I just think it's great. It ha what's what's interesting is that there are a few warm shades in here. There are a lot of cool shades in here, and I I love all of the shades. I mean, obviously not that one. <laughs> well, it's not that I don't love it. I, it's just not something I would use every day. The totally fetch shade, but that Earl Grey is stunning. It's got a dark brown. It's got a cream. It's got the, the delightful molasses chip, which is oh, I just love that shade. Can we have a moment for the molasses chip? So this is definitely, that's going to be in my products of the year. I can tell you that right now. All right, so there are some Lush products in there. The, the Lush Comforter, I love this. This is not that particular one. I always have these on hand. I seriously, I just love the smell of that. 
so disappointed by something else that I got, so we'll talk about that in a minute. But And then the, the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. I like this. I, I don't use it probably as much as I should. You can see what I have used of it. But I it's, it's the only lip scrub I've ever really liked of the lip scrubs that I've tried. And then the other thing on there, and I talked about this in an empties and as a fails, was the Lush Comforter Shower Cream. I don't know why this can't actually be what that smelled like, but that smelled terrible. I did not love it at all. I did find out when I talked about it in a video that there were some people that liked it. I just was not one of them. It didn't work with me or my chemistry or something, and it was not good, and it is gone. Okay, the Redkin Triple Take 32 Hairspray. I apologize. I don't have one to show you. I have worked through that. I love, love, love that. The other thing I had on there was the Red Kitten Curvaceous Swirl. Now, again, hopefully I have pictures up here. That product I, used to work for me and something in my hair just didn't work anymore. I gave it to a friend of mine at work who has really naturally curly hair and it has done great things for her, her hair. It looks amazing. Her curls are more defined, not crunchy. She really, really likes it. So if you have really, like I had just natural kind of wave. If you have real natural curl, and haven't tried that, you might really like that. So I wanted to give that a mention. This is the haul that I picked up the Gwen Stefani blush palette. Um, I've talked about this before. I am, by the way, wearing today cherry. So I, I try to wear the things that I'm talking about. So this is a nice palette. If you can get this on sale, I know they were selling at half price. Some people got a half price and then maybe 20% off when they had their little thing. I think that that's a good I deal. I just don't know that, it's wor that it was worth it. It wasn't. It wasn't worth the full price that I paid for it. It's nice. I don't feel like there's a ton of variety in there. It looks like there's a ton of variety, but when you actually get to using it, there's not a ton of variety. So I would skip this unless you get it for a really good price. Just my opinion. Uh, okay, the next one is one that I have really loved, and I've not talked about it very much. I don't know why. And this is the Marc Jacobs Trio in Punk, or the Punk, the Punk. And I'm wearing this on my eyes today. I just love this shade, and I get it. I know you're all like, yeah, Krista, we get it. It's a taupe. But, as my friend Bonnie would say, let me explain to you the nuances of this taupe. Uh, so this one, you know, some taupes lean beige. Some taupes have some purple to them. This one has just the most interesting little kind of, and I, this is what I have on my eyes today, this trio. Almost a silver twist to it. I probably shouldn't even call it a taupe. But it, it I mean, it, I don't know. <laughs> so... I really, I love that as a lid shade. I've used it a bunch as a lid shade. You can actually see probably how much I've used of that purple in there as like, I'll use it as a liner or today I do have it deepening up my crease and I have this in the outer corner. I, I really, it's just a fun little trio. It's not, I don't have a ton of shades like those two purples. I obviously have tons of taupes, but I don't have a lot of shades like those two purples and I really like it. I don't know that I would get any more of the Marc Jacobs shadows. I wanted to have a trio. I didn't want to have a full palette. Well, that's not true. I probably did, <laughs> but I, I'm happy with these I, and they're nice quality. I'm not sure that they are worth the money though. So um, would I purchase it again? I don't know, but I do enjoy that I have it. All right, so by the way, I'm try I tried these don't wipe off in case you're wondering. I have to, I'll have to get makeup remover to get them off. The next thing were two of the Tarte lip paints. The one that I still have is in TBT, which I love. I've talked about this in favorites. I've worn it over and over and over again. These are not liquid lipsticks, um, so that's what it looks like right there. They they will transfer. They're not, you know, like bulletproof or whatever, but I do like how they wear. I do like the matte look that they that they give to my lips without making my lips look older than they are. Um, so I do like that. The other shade was Hangry, and pretty shade, but it did, it did not look good on my older lips. So I, I think that... How you like these can very much depend on the shade that you get, what your lips look like. Are they thinner? Are they fuller? You know, I think I think it's a little, you know, it's really personal, as, as with most things with makeup. But I do think it's really personal. I did get the one in Namaste in that little nude kit from Sephora, but I've not tried it yet. So the next thing I will talk just very quickly about it because you guys have heard me rave about it over and over. And that's the Tom Ford bronzer brush. I love this brush. I love it. I've used it every single day since I got it. I absolutely love it. So much so that I'll, if I have to wash my brushes, I try to wash this one in the morning so that for sure it will be dry for me to use by the next morning. Just saying. Really, really like that. Since then, um, I have gotten two other Both ones. of which were in my used brushes because I love them. I will, I'm going to be collecting these on. I will be collecting all of these. So my friend Natalia, she and I met at... Um, my meetup in New York. She sent me this one, which is the number 11 brush. 
I love this as well. And <laughs> it's great for laying down. I used it today. And then this is the number 13 brush, which is a fluffy crease brush. I just, I love them. I love them all. I will own them. <laughs> What's funny is that this is when I got the Chanel CC cream. I just talked about this in my foundation declutter. If you haven't seen it, I will have it below. Um, I am in the shade 20 beige and I just haven't used it much. I really liked it the first couple of times I used it and then I just set it to the side and never used it I again. I need to go back to that, show it a little bit more love. It, but I really, I did, I did like it. It just gives you a nice, a really nice base. You could put another foundation over the top of it that's not a fuller coverage, but um, it's broad spectrum 50 by the way so that will come in handy this summer the next thing was when I had gotten um, these and I already had the one in deep rose and I had gotten the one in darling pink and the one in light rose and this is the Chanel double intense I love these I thought for a while and I have said I should take them take a minute to correct the record that these are being discontinued but my friend Kirsten from it's Kirsten she was in Vegas and she was at the Chanel boutique and apparently that boutique if something's being discontinued, they'll pull it immediately, even if it hasn't happened yet. Um, and they had no knowledge of these being discontinued, so yay for that. That makes me really happy uh, because I love these. I was ready to go out and buy about four backups of Light Rose. That That's how much I like that particular shade. So that is Darling Pink and that is Light Rose. I will say this, of all the ones that I have, so I have three of them, Darling Pink is my least favorite. You have to work with it a little bit more because it's lighter and I think my lips are a little bit more pig, you know, have a little bit of pigment to them. It's a little bit trickier for me to work with, but I do really like it and I intend to get a few more shades. All right, the, the next thing from uh, Chanel that I had gotten was the Purple Chocolate Liner and I've talked this one a little bit to death since I've gotten it. I really like it. I like that a little bit more. I'm going to put it right here next to this Estee Lauder one and then I'll put another one next to it to show you. It's there's there's definitely more purple to it it's got a little bit of shimmer to it versus that one being plum so all right here's the chanel purple which i can see it's a little bit more purple that one's a little bit more plum and i had somebody ask me a while back cassis is another liner another one of the stilos from chanel that i like and somebody had asked me what the difference between those two there's almost like there's a little bit of gray now that i put them next to each other this is definitely more purple more deep right there. So that's Cassis and then that's the one in purple chocolate. And then the last thing, I don't know, I didn't rewatch the haul. I just printed out my list. I don't know why this randomly was in there, but I remember that I had purchased these and asked you guys about them. This is the simple eye makeup remover pads and I just finished these and these are terrible. You guys are right. These were terrible. I did not like them in the slightest. They will be, we'll talk about those more in my empties, but whew, not good. All right, then that is everything. I think that I've told you everything that I have on my face. Again, I have um, Cherry Blush from the Gwen Stefani palette. I have the Punk Trio on my eyes. I have Irresistible on my lips, and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this rehaul, and we'll catch you next time. And everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.